Hi, my name is Rady Gomez and I represent IS Systems here in Curacao and we do represent the ICG software here in Curacao. Today I'm going to show you how to create a fixed item and a menu item in the front rest ICG. So, uh, here's your login screen. If I enter, I'm going to a table I'm going to show you here that you have we have no buttons at all created in our system so what we're going to do is we're going to go to F10 to the back office we're going to go to the item tab right now <clears throat> there's two ways you can create or actually it's like four ways you can create a button in front of us I'm going to show you guys today the first one uh, the first one will be going to item over here to just go to OK to enter the section screen to make it a button and you go to new we're gonna call a button that's called hamburger <coughs> sorry for that I always would like to work with reference numbers so let's say we start with reference number, for example, 0001. Section is very important. Since the section is what ICG manages for your printers. So over here, if you notice, it won't let you create a reference number, so we will have to create it from outside. So I'm gonna just, just going to hit save for a minute. Get out. Go here to sections. The section you can categorize it as departments. So how you want your items to be grouped. So uh, in this case, I guess it's just put like hamburgers, for example. Over here, under this hamburgers tab, I'm gonna put all, all my types of hamburgers cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, you know, all those types under the same section. So I'll go back to the item, and over here I'll have the ability to choose my hamburgers. Great. So I have my items. Here's a couple tabs you have to follow if you want to do this successfully. So we are in the properties tab. So over here you can set up the color, the font type, and all those things. So let's go to this square. I'll go to a color. I can do this, add some little spice to my text. I can go to my font. Change my font a bit. Like any other regular program. Even change the color of the text. For now, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to hit OK. The next step you want to look at is the prices tab. Over here, I have my setup system set up with two rates. You can have also one price rate for your restaurant if you don't have any separate pricing for your bar and your tables. So I'm going to put for the tables for now. This hamburger is going to cost 10 dollars. Right? Uh, I'm going to go here to over here modifiers. If you need to add any modifiers to this burger, you can add it right here that belong to this item. The next step you want to see is the fixed items. Fixed items is are the buttons that you're gonna see on the top of your screen so don't confuse section with fixed items if you make a section and if you don't make a fixed item you can still make it appear but I'll prefer to show you guys with the fixed items since that fixed item will give you a lot more flexibility when you want to move buttons around so I'll go to add fixed item 
I have nothing. So basically, I can go from here to edit fix item. It's not let me. So I have to, it's the same thing like the sections. I have to create it from outside in order to choose it. Okay, so uh, I'll leave this for now. I'm going to go back to the outside to create a fixed item. So the other, the other thing you, you want to look at is the sales tax. What kind of sales tax this one has, right? So it's very important because once you have three uh, tax items, you have to choose which ones belong to this product. So I'm going to hit save. Go back again. I'm going here to fix items. I'm going to create a new one. It's going to call it hamburgers. I'm going to give it a little bit of color. I can even put a picture on the fix items. See if I have something here we could use. don't have anything here I can use I'll show you in a bit about the fix uh, the pictures okay I created a fixed item I can choose the fixed item from here also so this is the, the main button and I want to choose which are the buttons that's gonna belong to this fixed item so I can go also straight here sections which section hamburgers and here's the item I created and I can move it to the right save so this means that this section this hamburger is, is going to be show under the fixed item that's called hamburgers let me go outside and show you so here's the item we created a hamburger is the item that belongs to this fixed item let me show you in the part of the items uh, button where we were just now so you we can finish up and you see what are the other way to attach the fixed item so we saw all those steps in the fixed item you see here you have hamburgers so I can add fixed item here since I created it and I can just choose it basically that's what it is but we're still missing one more thing if you see here, it's showing hamburgers on white and we made it in red. So it's not the same button. What the system is doing right now, it's showing sections on the top. We don't want to work with sections, we want to work with fixed items, fixed items in this case. So I'll go to F10 and I'm going to change the setting here. The first one do not show sections on the right here I have my fixed items I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna check it and see I want to show this fixed item all the fixed items you're gonna create is gonna show on, on here on one row each other you have to make sure if you're not looking at, at your screen you have to come in here and make sure they're all checked so I save it get out and you see it changed to red so this is the fixed item hamburgers the red one with my item hamburger so this is how you create buttons thank you very much for this tutorial